is Nikki with Movie Web. I'm so excited to be sitting with the skids of Letter Kenny. Season 11, so many moments between you two. So, first of all, we have to settle the greatest debate in season 11, which are chips. I am a sour cream and cheddar girl myself, but I also Ooh. am team Vinny, salt and Vinny's. But I was wondering, what was your personal favorite chip combo? Evan, we can start with you. Oh my God, I feel like even admitting this, we're gonna get in trouble. Um, my my personal favorite, I love a jalapeno chip. Ooh, I will try okay. kettle cooked, anything spicy. A spicy chip is my favorite. I gotta say, I, <laughs> I'm a good Canadian kid when I say this, but I like ketchup chips. Ah, <laughs> I, th I they're gonna say all dressed. I, I'm actually supportive no, of that. I, like I support Canadian the ketchup. No, I'm yeah. sorry, I like ketchup chips. <laughs> like classic Lay's ketchup chip. Oh my gosh. All right, great. Now that we settled a great chip debate, we're going to move It'll into... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but in episode two, oh, that boombox. Okay, so what sound ideally would come out of a boombox every time you pause for dramatic effects? Tyler, every... we'll go with you first this time. <laughs> probably like, the, probably like the, the clown horn, uh, the clown car horn. Like the... <laughs> <laughs> it's a dramatic moment. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you it's, want to make everybody laugh. I understand. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I would definitely get the attention on me. I think with the sound like that. So mission yeah. accomplished. I, 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 I just, I really like the one that we put in the episode. We actually didn't have that sound in the episode when I pressed the play button, as per usual, right? Like they added in it afterwards. So every time we did that scene, it was just me going, click, and then everyone <laughs> just sits there and and just feels the electricity in the room. But yeah. I would, it would be nice to have some actual electricity to have oh, a so lightning you... bolt sound. Yeah, wait, you Great. both didn't know what sound it was. Before. We had an idea that there was going to be some sort of dramatic noise. Okay. Uh, I think what it did that said sound like to you before knowing? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bit more like uh, Frankenstein lightning, you know, the, like. Gotcha. Tsh -tsh -tsh -tsh. But uh, they did a pretty good job. You know, I'm supportive of the uh, sound team over at Letterkenny. They're pretty good, so. Obviously, we cannot talk about season 11 without your scene stealing performance in episode four of Nudes. Uh, I think you know the scene. You're on the couch back at Skid headquarters. Yes. Yes. Evan, your physicality around that yeah. couch, brilliant. And uh, Tyler, your ability not to break during that it just blows my <laughs> mind. So can you both describe the process of filming that scene? If there's any outtakes, how many times it took for you to actually film that scene? Give us some insight because that was just an iconic scene. I'm loving that this is becoming a thing. I didn't even aware. I don't think we were aware how wild the scene was at the time. <laughs> Um, but the first time I did it to Tyler, he didn't know that I was going to be like caressing his body and like whispering in his knew. ear. Did you even know? I, I don't think I, I don't did. Think you knew. The yeah. scene started though, and I was like, "Oh, I'm getting quieter, so I guess I have to get closer. Oh, yeah. I'm getting even quieter." So I think that there was just it started happening, and the first take we did, Tyler did break, which is so rare for Tyler. This never happens for us. Well, so, you sprung it on him, right? So I, I imagine sprung it on him. The world. He was sprung <laughs> yeah. all over me. Sprung everywhere. And Nikki, he went up and down my arm. He started at my <laughs> shoulder. He went down to my fingertips. He went around my lap. Started at my other fingertip, back up to my shoulder, into my ear. You I really think, remember it a lot for a guy who seemed yeah, to have a problem with it. Smell what he had for lunch through my ear. <laughs> Obviously, it was very memorable. It was a very um, dramatic uh, experience. Very, well, probably dramatic. not traumatic. <laughs> traumatic <No>. versus traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's nothing, Nikki. That's just that's that's. We trust time. each other so yeah. much, so there is like an element of like, I know he's comfortable with whatever I'm going to do. It's whether yeah. or not we're going to be able to get through the scene the first time. I but know. But you know what? We know all the words. We're going to get it the second. We're going to get it exactly. the third. Yeah. We'll be fine. Yeah. Is there any impro improvisational in that as well? Or how close do you stick to the script? And is the goal is to try to make each other break during these scenes? Because I can imagine like takes can take a while because mm -hmm. you guys are just so hilarious. And like the the beats between you all is you're just is symbiotic. For other people, it's hard. I think for you and I, it's easy. We know we our lines. a lot too, right? We, uh, we enter scenes, Nikki, with like usually something that we've thought of or improvised some, in some cases. We like to end the scene with like a weird exit or something like that. So we usually improvise at the beginning or the end of the scenes. Mm -hmm. I'd say that's probably when we uh, when we do most of our improvisation. What was the second part of your question, Nikki? Well, this might get a little dark, but I was also wondering uh, if we there's like anything- Yes, <laughs> go on, Nikki. <laughs> I was wondering because the cast is just hilarious, but is there anything that you think about when you're trying not to break? 
I, I find it very hard to break because the rolled physicality is so tight. It's so uncomfortable to like clench my butt and pinch my voice and hunch over and clut and hang on to Tyler. Like it's not a funny position for me to be in. It's so intense and it's so heightened. And Tyler is so focused on his lines. He know he has to remember a billion words. So we actually don't have to think about it. I I think I'm so in. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I feel I like I never break. Yeah, we are ready. We Nikki, we don't have very much time on our set. We we move very quickly. We shoot a lot of pages in a day. So we have to show up very prepared and Evan and I usually have a big big dialogue driven scene. So we show up prepared. We have lots of laughs in rehearsals, but when it comes down to camera time, we know we only have a few takes and we can't really mess around too 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 much. That yeah. being said, we still have fun. We still make sure to laugh. We can improvise a moment or two. It's not like it's super high stressful, but we don't have like hours and hours to do a scene. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like a regular TV set at all. You, <laughs> you shoot like 15 pages in a day, no problem. Correct. Does this also apply to your dance breaks? Like, do you choreograph them yourselves or is there a choreographer on set? How do you improvise your dance we, breaks? We, we don't have anyone um, truly professional supervising our dances um i sometimes will be like you stand over there you stand over there. if somebody needs a little bit of inspiration i might give them one move to do if they need a little some some but like you generally change when that happens his you got a whole different attitude when he starts i do change i start snapping a lot um tyler though on the other hand has, a little <laughs> tyler brought a lot of his own very specific weird movements like there's that skiing one he does where he kind of like goes from side to side <laughs> very specific tyler movement that i could never have come up with on my own so i know. can't wait for the folks on tiktok to uh, kind of duet that and have that go viral so more oh, people God. know about Letter <laughs> is this a video <laughs> recording <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That'd be good. Yeah. Oopsies. Let's make it go viral so it's not just Canadian, right? So everybody is popping off, learning more about Letter Kenny, just becoming immediate fans. But as Evan, what has been your favorite part about playing role? Uh, my favorite part is honestly getting to work with Tyler all the time. I know oh, it's, I, I know I know he's that. just I know he's just here and and I have to say it or else he's gonna send me a mean text later. But the truth is, uh getting to work with Tyler has been like one of the greatest joys of my life because he's Aww. very talented and it's, a, it's very rare you get to come across someone like that in this profession uh, in, in so often. Why does it take you eight years to say something nice like that to me? You know, it comes with the right prompt, but you know, Tyler, <laughs> it's what true. It's Nikki. It's all Nikki. <laughs> You're <laughs> fine, Tyler. I'll take it back. How about you, Tyler? Um, what has been your favorite part about playing Stuart? You don't have to say me. Uh, working with the entire cast. <laughs> We're extending it now. <laughs> <laughs> this has been an amazing experience, Nikki. Um, you know, being a Canadian actor who's worked in the industry since I was like 14, 15 years old, so 20 years. We've, uh, you know, we always impersonate America, Vancouver, is Seattle, New York, um, Toronto is New York, and we always have to hide our boots and our and our A's and these things. Um, to be able to get a, be a part of a Canadian show that has been received by America and the world um, for just being kind of the weirdos that we are has been an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And like Evan said earlier, this partnership that we've established you is, don't have is to. very, very special. I and love this romance. <laughs> he's such a good performer and a great dancer and a great kisser. <laughs> yeah, is that all in your notes, Tyler? Just just yeah, it is. like that's it's yeah. all. <laughs> I wrote those notes. I say I, I FedExed them last night. <laughs> that's his handwriting. My yeah. blood. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, God. Well, my last question to you both is: When you first joined Letter Kenny, did you ever think you'd be filming season eleven? Not even. Oh, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for season twenty. Personally. Yeah, exactly. Tyler. Tyler's always a hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> he would do this every day for the rest of his life. Um, no. I, no. Yeah, the answer, no way. No. No way. It, it's honestly, I was like, this is a web series. Like, I don't think I even really understood the scope of it. And I, and to be honest, nothing ever changed shooting it. Like, we never ended up with bigger sets, really, or like more crew or anything. Like, nothing really ever changed over the last get eight years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, season one, technically, we were all sitting in the same room during our green room breaks. But then again, I was like I was saying in the chip episode, we we're sitting under like a staircase eating snacks off the floor. Like, it's not like things changed that much over the course of the season. So it felt the same the whole time. Yeah. But I never expected it to be like to reach this scope of an audience or to be international in this capacity. Like, 
it felt small it felt intimate when i did the first episode i was like you know who's going to be a huge fan of the show brad pitt yeah. and edward norton <laughs> as soon as yeah, this comes that was out, your first I'm thought like, man those guys are going to love this well thank you both so much congratulations on season 11 and here's to 20 plus seasons it's yeah. been a pleasure speaking with you both thank you so much for your time you, today Nikki. congratulations on a job well done hilarious thank you thank you so much nice chatting with you